and welcome back to GopherCraft Minions. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see this, but if you look at the clouds as they're moving, there's like strange white streaks shimmering across them. The silver linings are coming. The silver linings are coming. I don't know what it is. I think it has to do with that. that I, now they're going backwards. <laughs> I don't even know if you guys can see all that stuff. But anyways, so we are back. Oops, there we go. We are back on the GopherCraft server, and I am still in my costume. Because, you know, yesterday was Halloween and I didn't change it yet. So, here we are, back home. We have tons of pumpkins growing over here. We got tons of food. And I actually came up with an interesting little design for our floor that I've been having such a trouble with. So, what we're going to do... Man, my, this, keep, this space bar is just killing me. So, we're going to walk over here. As you can see, I've got spruce trees growing, or attempting to grow... And then we have this! And alright, anticlimactic, yes, I know. But what I'm doing is, I'm actually doing like a weave pattern, as you can see here. It goes over, under, and it'll go over here. I'm still, you know, earning up materials. But, uh, and then these are going to interchange. So there'll be, and then there'll be this one that goes over. I was kind of goofing around because the floors is what kills me. Is I, I can't, I couldn't progress past getting the floor and the ceiling done. So I'm like, well, what can I do to to break up the floor? And I was like, oh, I could change it all to dark oak and then use the birch, you know, the light ceiling, dark floor. But that didn't quite work in my brain. It, it just, my brain went, nah, I don't think so. So <laughs> that is how that turned out. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the birch. Um, you know, I can get in infinite numbers of this stuff. We're going to use the birch as our ceiling. That's not birch, though. <laughs> uh, so I hope you guys' Halloween was good. Yeah, that, that's basically going to be the ceiling. It's going to be three high with big windows and a pattern to floor. So while we're talking, we're going to pattern the rest of the floor to include those areas over there. Okay, so... Uh, hope, as I said, hope everybody had a great Halloween. Uh, lots of candy, or you know, like uh, my niece is too old to have trick or treat, so she you know has a Halloween party every year, which I got to do a I got to I got to be the costume contest guy. And uh, as you guys know, uh, these are recorded the day before, so this is actually still Halloween for me. So tonight or Halloween night, I get to go be a judge at a. Uh, teenagers a uh, costume judge at a teenagers uh uh party my nieces now here comes the weird part see uh every, on tuesdays uh, or on dance days with uh demicorn because he goes to jazz dance on tuesdays and thursdays or whatever days i don't even know anymore but uh, i pick up my niece and her friend which also go to dance from the high school so I get to hear, you know, I get some interaction with her friends and, and understand about her friends. And I'm sitting there, you know, listening to the conversation because, let's be honest, teenagers talk. And they're not talking to me. They're just talking to each other. But I'm sitting there and I'm listening to these conversations and they're making statements like, you know, uh, you know, do you mind if I bring sweatpants in case, I'm, you know, in case my skirt is not comfortable or I, in case I get uncomfortable. And I'm like, uncomfortable. Now, I can understand a cold because, I mean, it, it's going to be very cold. It's going to be it's going to be some weird weather. You know, but I got confused because I was like, well, what, what? The, apparently, you know, oh, okay, well, maybe, you know, maybe her costume is something that's uncomfortable, right? Well, that's sort of true, but I don't understand why. She's, she's Bonnie from Bonnie and Clyde. Let's be honest, uh, their time frame, it wasn't like you wore super uncomfortable clothing. So... I'm assuming there's more to that outfit than thing. <laughs> and then I got the answer. Because I asked my niece what she was going as. And she said, uh, with a hesitant pause, Little Red Riding Hood. And I went, oh, okay, well, that's a... Okay, okay. I, I, that's not a bad costume, right? Red Riding Hood. How, how bad could it be? Well, apparently, according to her, it's the <laughs> adult rendition of Little Red Riding Hood. And I went... Oh, now my brain clicked in. I'm apparently going to be a judge for a uh, what are they, uh, the 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 slutty contest. That's not the slutty con, not the person slutty, but 
you know, the slutty costume contest, you know, adult nurse, adult Red Riding Hood. That is the party I get to... And this is my sister, you know. <laughs> this, this is my sister that's like, yeah, I need another judge for a contest. And I'm like, what? How do you justify letting... I mean, this is this is why I can't have daughters. I would not allow things like that. I would kill people. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. You know, I, I don't... I'm not cool with that. You know, kids should dress appropriately. And her, her response was, well, you know, they're just, they're dressing up like what they can't be in real life, or what they're not in real life. And I went, or they're dressing up like something that's inside, and they're just like accenting it. That's a way to go. And the whole conversation started because I was, I was asking, because, you know, the cats are getting old, and, you know, they're going to come to a time where they don't want to do Halloween no more. And, or like the trick-or-treating part. And so I was like, okay, you know, what does your mom do during these parties? Because she's had parties for like the last three years, I think. Um, and I was like, so, you know, I'm trying to figure out what I would be doing during these parties because eventually they're going to want to have parties, right? Well, I asked her what she does and she said, well, normally she just sits there and reads her book or watches a movie. But apparently uh, this year she's got to be a little more watchful since there's going to be some more boys there. And one of her friends is hoeing it up. And I, and I looked at her. I mean, literally, that's exactly how she said it. And I, and I looked at her and I just went, wait, what? <laughs> oh yeah, one of my friends is being a real hoe, and so you know, since there's gonna be boys there, yeah, my mom's gotta stay a little closer. And I was like, okay, so wait, wait, who's the other judge? Oh, it's the hose mom. What? I mean, what happened to kids these days? I mean, why? I mean, I okay, I understand rebel, rebel, like rebelling, I guess, against authority. Sure, we'll go with that. But I, I just don't understand, guys. Like. Why? I mean, I understand to an extent the infatuation or the infatuation with dressing sexy because you know, as a child, you don't dress like that. That's you know, you're always in you know, cutesy clothes or efficient clothes or effective clothes. You know, warm clothes. You know, cool clothes. You know, it's never about your appealing nature. And I mean, let's be honest. As a parent, I'm okay with this, but um. <laughs> It's one of those things of, you know, I, I get the point where they want to dress that way, but I mean, I just don't understand why. I mean, realistically, I mean, I, I do you guys know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. This goes under, then this should be over. But, so that's what I get to do tonight, so there will definitely be... An update on that as well as later again this is halloween for me so it's the day after for you um the cat uh silent skeleton is going to be con being converted into a female oh i gotta do the side still uh, here right One, two, okay uh he's being converted into a female this afternoon so that will be interesting right you, I know you guys are excited to see that. Um, let's see, is this the same on both sides? Yeah, it is. Okay, so I need to break this one. Yeah, I know I have an axe, but it's just... I know it takes a little longer, but whatever. I'm not in that much of a hurry. It's a very complex floor design. Oh, trees are And you really won't notice the strapping unless you look at it from above. But I'm hoping it looks really cool. I mean, it, it breaks up the pattern, so it's not just one floor pattern. You know, like, it doesn't look like it's just, like, a grid, like a checkerboard or something. Oh, good trees. But, so, yeah. So, anyway, I do hope your guys' Halloween was amazing. And, uh, you know, I, next year I need to definitely make a better costume. The Fallout suit, apparently nobody got or understood the Fallout suit. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not exactly sure. I mean, most people know. My well, axe is going to break, isn't it? Well, but Jesus. One champion has got some breaking. Eh, whatever. What can you do, right? Okay, that. I also need to break that and that. On down here, and we'll just put you there and you there. There goes. Ha! I'm gonna fuck a mouse! So. But that is also, also today, you know, being today, today, November 1st, um, 
is the start, supposedly, again, supposedly, I'm, I haven't received the official word yet, but is supposedly the start of the um, new streaming program, Beam. So I, you know, I'll be switching over to that. Uh, yes, I will be losing uh, DeepBot for a time, depending. I mean, if Beam doesn't work out, then I mean, I mean, I'm not, dro I'm not dropping DeepBot. It's still going to stay there, and I'll probably continue to use DeepBot for some things. Uh, but and they're going to there's an API, which is I have no idea actually what that means, uh, and I'm sure Carton would be able to explain that one better. But uh, I'll have access to the API. Or at least somehow about the API. So it was it was to explained to me that bots would be relatively easy to build. So Carton, I'm going to need a new bot. I'm going to need Carton bot. Actually, Deep Bot might actually convert themselves as well. How many uses I got left in this? Eighteen uses. Oh God. Am I gonna be able to finish this pattern at least? Come on, pattern. We can do this. That's nine. How many do I got left? 13, okay. We, we, we can do this, I think. <laughs> this could be so close. Oof, 12. So I should have enough to break this little bitty up. Oof, 5 left. Alright, we need to go and enchant some stuff. Let's pick up this stuff first. Actually, let's drop the wood down. Um, yeah, in words of the, uh, in regards to my, uh, finger, uh, I am still in a cubic ton of pain, but, uh, I am trying to push through it because, dagnabbit, you guys deserve it, and I want to be able to do stuff for you guys. So, that is the status update on my finger. Uh, I gave a, I came up with the appendage crisis for VNN, I thought that was pretty funny. And uh, what did you guys think of the Halloween special? And Ashley Ossidy, and uh, she, she, I have a problem saying her name because in TeamSpeak, she's referred to as Nova. So, or she named, she calls herself Nova. So it's one of those things of, you know, crap. Uh, I call, I, I keep, my brain goes, oh yeah, call her Nova. But then nobody's going to know who Nova is. So it, her name is She, She Wolf Deadly is her actual Minecraft name. And uh, she's actually the one of the uh, developers, or the developer, or I'm not exactly sure all the details of where she stands on that, but she is she is one of the heads of uh, MCA, which I know you guys all love that series, and she apparently loved my 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 rendition of it as well. So I mean, right, right, that's good, right? No, maybe. <laughs> um. Oh, wrong way. There we go. Okay, so we need to go back to. Man, I need a faster way to get to figure out where spawn is because I always lose it. Well, I hear you, but whatever. But uh, yeah, so what did you guys think of them? Uh, we just did the Halloween special. Uh, Garling doesn't really like Minecraft, as you guys all know. He he doesn't tend to want to record Minecraft. He'd rather record other games. But the problem is, there's not a lot of other games out there that have a really good involved uh, uh, multiplayer. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's kind of one of those things of what do we do? Do we do a series uh, on a game that you know you guys may not like? Like, uh, but everybody likes seems to like Arc Age, not you know viewer wise, but the, all four of the players seem to like Arc Age, and Arc Age is pretty pretty cool looking. I mean, uh, it's I have not played it since I was became a founder, but I uh, <laughs> I became a founder. <laughs> So, but yeah, it looks really... Oh, somebody broke that up. I didn't do that. That wasn't me. There's no proof. No proof. Um, I made a pickaxe. I just <laughs> noticed that. Damn it. <laughs> Why? Okay, let's, let's just... Is there any iron over here that I can borrow and bring back later? Um, no. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Nope. Uh, I can't do anything with any of that stuff. Community seeds, dirt. I got a bunch of seeds, uh, ooh, apples. But um, does any of these? I'm, I'm totally. Ooh, I don't have anything in there. <laughs> Man, I can't believe I did that. I got an egg. 
cannot believe that I did that. Ooh. Well, I didn't hear a chicken, so. Uh, gotta run all the way back here. I don't even know. Oh, I don't even know if I have enough iron. We'll have to check on that. Oof. But uh, what did you guys think of uh, Ashley and uh, uh, She-Wolf? Uh, would you guys be interested in seeing like a longer term series? And if so, what kind of series? Uh, we, we, we sat down and talked a little bit, you know, with Garley and some of that. Um, I don't know if Garley would join a long term series, but uh, we did talk about, you know, the different options and some of that. And as I said, you know, Arc Age is not a series that I don't think anybody, nobody wants to watch Arc Age. I mean, let's be honest. Uh, I like Arc Age. Garley likes Arc Age. The, the girls probably like playing Arc Age. Girls, I'm sorry. Ladies. Uh, they're not girls. They're much older than that. Not much. Oh, wow. I'm just digging myself into the thing. Uh, that would be my alarm. Uh, oh, good. Do I still have one, two, three, four? Let's try that. And I saw two sticks. So, let's try this again. Yay, an axe! Okay, well, let's put that away. I was wondering why. I was like, why do I have so many pickaxes on me? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, not those um but yeah if there's like what type of series would you guys like to see i mean uh she wolf deadly as you guys know is a mod creator so i mean i'm sure they've created things or done things I'm, I'm not honestly sure i've watched some of their stuff but I, the only series i've seen lately was uh their vanilla but i know they're working they're doing different things and you know Ashley's always entertaining, and it's, God, they're both so energetic. I know you guys saw it. They're both very energetic, so of course I was the odd man out of energy. It was, you know, me, uh, and then there was Garlean, Ashley, and Nova, all full of energy, and I'm like, my heart can't handle it. But uh, they they seem like really cool girls. Uh, God, I, I'm so used to people. I'm, ah, I'm out. Young ladies. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm having lots of issues. It, it comes with the territory. When you're old and senile and you're on it, pills and all this type of stuff, it sucks. <laughs> Alright. Let us make... Unbreaking 2. Cost me 8 levels. Now, I wanted, we were trying this out. We could lower the level, couldn't we? Mm-hmm. Sufficiency two. I wish you could leave that in there. I want I'm breaking two though. Over anything. Efficiency two, I'm breaking one. Fortune. Yeah, because that's what I want. Fortune. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Cause that's exactly what I want. Fortune. You please. Yeah, we'll just take on breaking two. Wait, you know what? No, I want I want breaking two. There we go. Yoink. Yeah, you know, why don't we see this is what happens. My keyboard stuck. <laughs> Alright, while we're walking back, we're going to go into the comments. And our Oh, by the way, just for reference, uh thir fourteen likes. Oh my god, you guys are amazing. Loved it. Loved it. Uh, I think we hit eighty views on this video, so I, I love I love it, guys. Uh, but minions, you got to give me more comments because I want to read the comments. I want to single you guys out. So, uh, but so we had two comments, and uh, our first comment was from, of course, hold on, let me, okay, we're going our way, uh, from Miss Sayulili herself. Uh, she writes, sorry, gotta get around the path. Uh, yes, Lapis has always been able to break apart like that, just like diamonds, gold, etc. Uh, enchanting is different now. It requires up to 30 levels to unlock an enchantment, but only 1 to 3 level to actually enchant stuff. Yeah, I, I learned about that a little bit. Uh, it was uh, it was a learning curve for me. But uh, thank you for the information, Lily, and thank you ecstatically for all the lapis. It was... Ah, come on, mouse. Or, not mouse, keyboard. Ah, there we go. Okay. I even still left this here because, you know, I, I haven't gotten to it. <laughs> And our final comment is from Miss Linda Kujawa. Hi, Linda. Or MC Granny, for those who don't know. Uh, I agree with you. You have a lot of nice people who play games with you. I'm sure it was, or it was sure 
that it sure was nice that they gave you all the lapis you could ever need. I liked how Lily gave it to you by placing it around and the book she wrote about the lapis police. Yes, Lily is insanely funny, uh, and she's very mean, and <laughs> she likes to play, you know, hide the stuff. I mean, she, I appreciated it. I did. And uh, I just means I have to be a little more careful. Let's just grab that real quick. Uh, and look around my property a little more, because <laughs> you never know when something might be there. <laughs> oh, well, it sounded good in my head, right? Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave those likes and those comments. So if I didn't get to your comment this time, probably because I didn't get it in the video, but if I missed it, I will definitely try to get it in next time, guys. And hey, you have a wonderful weekend. Bye.